your turn. See this guy here? His name is Ricky Beamer. Now you're probably wondering why this man is hanging from a window about to get caught by someone. Well, let's go back a little further. Ricky had snuck out of his parents house to break into the school and change the school's newspaper. He was doing this to get revenge on this girl named Tasha McLean because she was always bullying him at school along with a few others. Tasha was the editor of the school newspaper and while Ricky also worked on the school newspaper as well, Tasha would never let Ricky do a story himself. She would always mock him calling him Ricky the rat and always saying he was a creep. So Ricky had plans to sneak in after dark and put Tasha's phone number in in the school newspaper and would specifically tell all the creeps to call her phone number after midnight. This is when they surprise Ricky and starts making their way back to the classroom for some reason. Maybe they had forgot something? So Ricky had to rush and send this new version of the newspaper off before he got caught red handed. And while this man was making his way out the window, he manages to get his jacket stuck. Like come on dude. They enter the classroom and turn on the light. They didn't even notice that the window was open because Tasha was worried about the computer saying she had left it on. I'm guessing this was the reason they returned to the classroom. Ricky snatches his jacket off and Tasha and the teacher hear this and get suspicious. Tasha makes her way over by the window seeing the muddy footsteps this man Ricky had left. But by the time she does this, Ricky had managed to hide. So it was the next day and yeah, these are the other group of kids that are always picking on Ricky. Ricky was the outcast of the entire school and would pretty much get picked on by everyone. He was just this nerdy kid and didn't mess with anyone. One. so I kind of felt sorry for him while watching this episode because I knew kids like him back in school. Now I'm pretty much the only kid that wasn't picking on Ricky was this girl named Iris and she had felt sorry for Ricky. Ricky and Iris end up kicking off a conversation in the hallway and Iris was telling Ricky that she had just moved to town. So as you can imagine she didn't have any friends either. They end up becoming friends and decide to hang out at lunch which I should mention their lunch looked pretty bad. Just look at that tuna surprise. Now while looking for a place to sit at lunch, those same bullies from earlier end up tripping Ricky and he gets a face full of Alfredo I guess? Man that looks terrible. Now Ricky had stormed out of the lunchroom feeling embarrassed and Iris was trying to calm him down. But Ricky wasn't trying to hear none of that mess. He says they were all gonna pay right after he was done getting his revenge on Tasha. Now Iris was confused of course with her being new to the school. She didn't really know anyone. So Ricky starts explaining his entire plan to her. Basically telling her about last night. Yeah smart move Ricky. Break into the school and tell someone you just met about it bruh now as he was telling her this it was obvious that tasha was already on to ricky's plan and we see just that now it was later on and ricky gets a strange call from iris in the middle of the night telling him about the school newspaper tasha had replaced her phone number with ricky's phone number but at the time this man didn't know this and as iris is trying to inform ricky about this his dad invades in on a call telling him it was too late to be receiving phone calls but ricky i said I, I have to hang up. Really? So he hangs up. Ricky goes back to sleep and awakes to another call. But this time, it was this creepy person saying he saw the phone number about creeps in the school newspaper. I'm guessing his dad was asleep this time around because he doesn't stop this call. In fact, Ricky is terrified with these creepy calls all throughout the night. I'm calling as instructed. I'm a creep. His plan? had backfired. The next day at school, Tasha had informed Ricky that she saw him running away from the school that night like a dumb so she changed the school newspaper in advance and this is when the episode starts to get really weird and I mean really weird. Ricky was eating school lunch when he gets this letter from those same three bullies asking him when will the creeps meet. Weird right? And while Ricky was walking to his locker, he notices this thick red fluid coming out of his locker.
he opens it to see this message stating the same thing that that note said earlier. Yeah, the janitor isn't going to be too happy about this mess he has to clean up. But yeah, Iris had walked up and Ricky was telling Iris that lately everything has been super weird. It was even weirder that these bullies were sending him these strange messages and weren't picking on him anymore. All of this was really weird, but she tells Ricky not to worry about it. She asks Ricky if he wanted to meet up after school to help her bake some cookies for the bake sale that was coming up. Ricky agrees and she tells him to meet her at the local grocery store tomorrow after school. It looks like Ricky had finally made a friend. It was early that next morning when Ricky receives another disturbing call telling him not to take the phone off the hook anymore. Apparently Ricky had did this last night so he wouldn't receive any creepy calls. They ask Ricky how they can make contact and tell him they will be watching his every move. And while on the way to meet Iris, they kidnap Ricky and bring him to this cave. <laughs> It turns out these were the three making those creepy phone calls at night to Ricky. And it also turns out they were actual freaks. They transform into these hideous monsters and start praising Ricky, saying the creeps are ready to serve. They give these seeds to Ricky and tell him to spike the school lunch with it the next day. These seeds were going to turn every person that ate the lunch into hideous creeps like them. So it was the next day at school and they were watching this man Ricky put the seeds in the food. So Ricky had to come up with a quick plan to get out of the situation. So his plan was to put the seeds in the tuna surprise because nobody really ate it. And while doing this, the lunch lady comes in and catches him, but he just ends up running out. And around lunchtime, Ricky was guarding everyone's lunch to make sure that nobody ate the tuna surprise. So after school that day, they take Ricky back to that same cave and threaten to eat this man because he wasn't following their directions. But this is when Iris comes in to the rescue. She fools the creeps into thinking and she was also a creep and buys time by telling them that wasn't the actual plan. Ricky catches on to what Iris was doing and this is when they devise another plan to spike some cookies for the upcoming bake sale and hand them out for free. So while the creeps are making the cookies, Iris tells Ricky she heard his voice on the way to meet him and this is how she found the cave. Bruh, really? I guess everyone just walks through the woods to get to where they're going, bruh. Now as we all know with Goosebumps, every episode has a twist at the end and that this episode does indeed. They hand out these free cookies and Ricky jumps on stage to warn everyone not to eat the cookies. But before he does this, all the kids start teasing the man. You don't understand. Not knowing he was trying to save their freaking lives. One of the creeps tell Ricky that if he lets everyone eat the cookies, they will all be his slaves. They will have to do anything he says. So? He lets them eat the cookies. And Iris was in disbelief, but Ricky was fed up with being teased. He says, I'm sorry, Iris, but from now on, things are gonna be different around here. They all transform into monsters after eating the cookies and start praising this man Ricky as their ruler. And this is when things get even creepier when Ricky consumes a cookie himself to become the official ruler. <laughs> just crazy. How do you guys feel about this ending? Honestly, I don't feel bad for all the kids that turned into creeps because they had what was coming to them. Always teasing this man for no reason. And also, Iris didn't eat a cookie, so she wasn't under Ricky's control. Smart girl. <laughs> but tell me what you guys think about this episode of Goosebumps in the comments down below. And until next time, peace.